Health Department has at last followed up on the digital vibes embarrassment. Following quite a while of claims, Director General Sandile Buthelezi has been suspended. The Health Department has affirmed that Director General Sandile Buthelezi has been put on preparatory suspension. The suspension comes after Buthelezi was involved in the R150 million rand digital vibes contract embarrassment. As per the division, Buthelezi will currently need to work to demonstrate his innocence with the Special Investigating Unit. Puthilezi took on the DG work in June last year, when the Digital Vibes contract had been closed down. The issue for Buthilezi comes however, with the way that he was the bookkeeping official, at the time the agreement was supported. Also, as indicated by the office, it is absolutely impossible that the Digital Vibes agreement might have been effectively closed down, without Buthilezi's endorsement. The Ministry of Health affirms that Director General Health, Dr. Sandal Buthilezi, has been put on preparatory suspension until he shows up before a disciplinary hearing with respect to his job in Digital Vibes Adventure. Dr. Nicholas Crisp, Deputy Director General answerable for National Health Insurance, will keep on acting until the consultation cycle has been closed. Quote, the information on Crisp's new job initially broke last month, as questions went unanswered over Buthelezi's future. Regardless of initial coming into a claim for his underlying treatment of the COVID-19 pandemic, former Health Minister William Kais was subsequently made to stroll to board. Kais left Ramaphosa's bureau only hours before last month's reshuffle. You computerized Vibes was controlled by two of Nkaiser's previous close partners and was found to have cheated the division by millions. Defilement. The organization was first welcomed on to give correspondence mastery on the national health insurance, however, immediately continued on to COVID 19 informing. The SU observed the agreement to be exceptionally unpredictable. It's likewise claimed the Nkai's family benefited liberally. Mkais and his child Didani reject that they took millions in dodgy installments. The Sioux has gone to the special tribunal to recover a portion of the large numbers paid over to Digital Vibes. Please like, comment, share and follow this channel for more information or updates on news and entertainment.